Copenhagen. Hello and welcome to Grasshopper. I'm Simone Oberkan. I'm a pilot and I'm an artist. I think most think artist as somebody with a brush and canvas and then they go out and paint. I do that as well, but I also use uh, airplanes because my canvas is really the sky. For me, it's really important to get up sometimes. And uh, today is just like a really short thing. I just wanted to uh, show you. Cheers. Um, some pictures I got from Nicholas, who is uh, helping me refurbishing my old Piper Cub, L4 Piper Cub, the most simple aircraft from the Second World War artillery observation plane, uh, which is my love and that I really need for new art projects. Um, and it was just so beautiful because um, in the previous episodes you have seen me with my old yellow airplane in the hangar where it was sitting totally tired and dirty and then we got it on the trailer and got it transported to Sweden and I still had this hope that maybe we could preserve uh, the body of the airplane, we could keep the canvas on it and just repaint it or rejuvenate it or something like that but Niklas tested the canvas and the puncher went through and that means that the canvas wasn't good enough. So we had to rip it off. And when we got the canvas off, we did find some surface rust. The airframe cannot be like really rusty, then we have like a huge problem, but there was some surface rust. And that meant that we had to glass uh, blast the whole thing. Um, so these last days has really been like just digging into the old stuff, seeing this dirty old airplane and and it just looked more and more, yeah, dead. I mean, it's not just dead, you know, it's like down to the bones. <laughs> so today I got this great news. I got these pictures from him where he have glassed, blasted the smaller parts. Um, and primed them and then painted them with this uh, green special dab color which I really like which is uh, really opaque and not glittery I'm not really sure about the English word I'm Danish um, it was just so nice to see it lined up like as you see it here in the picture so I'm just really happy about that and then the other great thing that happened is that I'm an artist and all my art projects has been uh, postponed or cancelled uh, because of the corona crisis and despite this I'm, I'm trying to rejuvenate this old Piper Cup because I think that when the world starts up again we need hope. We need something that can connect us um, despite of differences, despite different countries, cultures. We really need to build the future together, now more than ever. And I just find that art is a really good place to have a conversation going, which doesn't fire up. I have in many years used the airplane as a tool to change perspective, get, get up in the air, see things from above and, and suddenly, uh, you know, we can do things together and we, we you know, we can overview our situation in a different way. And flying like this, like this really simple way, which is sort of like the closest to fly by yourself, is really something that makes you smile and it's so beautiful. Like art, you know, it can be a really beautiful place to me. Cheers. Uh, I'm a bit tired because I've been writing application all night and, but then, you know, I got this great news today. These images of the airplane getting, you know, the new coating on. And then Nicholas um, getting me this beautiful sponsor. And you will hear more about the sponsor. And we'll do like a, um, a a movie about it. It's 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 a company that Nicholas works with uh, and done more airplanes with. They're 
very throughout in their work. So it's just like, you know, one of the greatest news that could come because of, yeah, what I said, the Corona crisis has is, is a little bit uh, a challenge for everybody and also the people in the aviation industry and also for the people within the arts. And so therefore it's just like really incredible that this private owner of a company decides that he wants to help this project, blast and prime the fuselage of the airplane. Oh my God, that's, cheers. Thank you so much. That's just incredible. I think we, we own these old airplanes to keep them flying. I mean, they are living history. You know, you cannot fly that airplane without thinking about who was in it, what happened in those countries that airplane came through. I mean, there's so much history in this airplane. And I want to share it with you. And we can't do it when it's just sitting in the hangar. We have to get it out there to help us discuss what is the future supposed to look like? How are we going to fly in the future? How are we going to meet in the future? And we can do it with this simple airplane. So I invite you to join me on this journey and I hope it will be a long one and I hope to share it with a lot of you. Thank you so much for today. Bye. -bye.